The normal school year has come to a close here at Dean Elementary, but this hot June morning marks the start of a unique two-week cultural experience tailored for students who are part of Jeffco's Title VI Indian Education Program. The students are joined by adults in a talking circle, a Native American tradition with the goal of opening hearts to understand and connect. The circle itself symbolizes completeness. And so now that we have the talking stick, we're going to get a little bit more serious into the circles because now we're going down that path. For some students, it's their first experience with ceremony. They learn how to hold themselves, how to engage elders, and even how to engage the earth, including the tree nearby, which is considered sacred, providing not only shade, but the elements of earth, water, and sun. Keeping native culture alive is a key goal of these two weeks, and that effort can take many forms. Like I said, I've been drawing since I was probably your age, if not smaller. Inside Dean, the students gather to hear from two presenters who are giving them a glimpse into their colorful career as artists and storytellers. Christina Maldonado Badhand and her husband Raphael have a publishing company with a focus on indigenous comic books. Between them, they've done many other projects too and their portfolios are proof of their talents. The kids are riveted as the two with new baby Coda in their arms talk about the pair's origin stories, including their successes and challenges. So you took kind of real life experiences and turned it into a story. There's a lot of things that kids don't see, and when you tell them about it, usually they pick it up pretty good. Um, so I think, I think it's getting through on them. Work from what you know. Don't try to go somewhere where somebody else is. Let me see this. Oh, I read There's a blue. If a lot of these students don't end up becoming artists and they have a better appreciation for how much time and energy it takes for artists and how much business goes into that. Christina and Raphael then encourage the students to write and illustrate their own origin stories using their published character of Pia to kickstart their thinking. And she actually represents some of the strengths of some of you guys. There's a lot of things that you guys have in common. Pia is the alter ego of a whole bunch of influences in his life, like he said. Oh, it's awesome. I, I love it. It reminds me of when I was little and creating my own characters and stuff like that. And I feel it's, it's something that we've lost in today's society. Our kids have kind of given up on a lot of their dreams, and so when I see them doing that, it's cool to see that they're not giving up on those dreams. If I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Norman, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can bestow upon you any superpower you want. <laughs> Just <laughs> what? name it to the show. But the best is yet to come. A field trip to the mother of all comic book conventions in Colorado, which we'll show you as our story continues. Ooh.